In a rural corner of Croatia today, a message for Europe. When there are no doors open, you get there any way you can. This village railway station is now part of a migration highway, with police no match for the crowds it draws. Countries all along the route have been keen to pass them on. Just inside the Austrian border today, we met dozens of migrants celebrating the final leg of their European tour. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Astra. Among them was Sam and his son, Kareem. We'd met them on Thursday on Serbia's border with Croatia. Now, where do we go to Vienna or where? Sam's question then was how long it would take them to reach Vienna. What would you say to other people who are coming this way? I say to him, uh, Europe for everybody. You must understand the uh, government and the people of Europe till we live together. All around Vienna, camps are filling up with those who arrived here before him. Like Mohaf, without a passport or a visa, it's taken him a week to travel up from Greece. I won't go to future, okay? This, I know that uh, here future, okay? Many people here have crossed several countries in the past few days. Politicians may talk about border controls and international law, but migrants are forging a path right through Europe by sheer force of numbers. After weeks of infighting, EU leaders will try to agree a joint solution to the crisis later this week. But shared goals and shared visions of Europe are far harder to win in capitals than in camps.